this is what we've spent the last 40 years trying to protect. So we still have magnificent trees like this for the public to be able to come and see. The most prolific areas of elm are between the downs and the coast. They've been protected from beetles coming in from the, the north. The area of downs that we have here in East Sussex is largely untreed, so there's nothing for them to flock up over onto. And also we've had the, the coast of the south, so the sea has protected us from that area. These are a couple of trees which became infected towards the end of last summer. There's no foliage on them at all. The bark is drying out, making it ideal breeding situation for the elm bark beetles. So it's the future uh, of elm in East Sussex that we're trying to protect so that not only will we be able to continue enjoying them, but we'll also allow our children and our children's children to, to keep enjoying elm and East Sussex will still be famous for having an elm population. It's a lovely, lovely wood to use. It is hard, but what's so lovely about it is it's so close grained. So from a carving point of view, you can do a lot to it. And for me, most of my work goes outside, so it's very, very resilient. I love the story that the wood's got. You'll find things, you'll see the way the grain has reacted to its environment. And all those stories are locked into that wood. I just love uncovering all of that. I do think they add something to the area. They're very pretty, especially in the spring, the seeds, and they're huge, very iconic. The elm overfilling is amazing, the way it troops over. I didn't realise how rare they are until there was a problem with the elm up at Seven Dials, the one that was saved from the new roundabout. But I do appreciate them more now, knowing that you don't really get them elsewhere. Oh yes, I mean they are amazing. I mean Brighton would be so different if it didn't have its elms. I mean they're the, the, the twins down in Preston Park and then there's that amazing elm right by the pavilion and others dotted around like the one at Seven Dials.